man, my stomach was killing me today. I uh, ate some dessert on an empty stomach, and as I was eat, as I was eating, I was like, I said to myself, "Nah, this is gonna this is gonna be bad news," and I ate it anyway. And in the bathroom again and again and again, it was horrible. Like, oh. Uh, I don't even want to, I don't, obviously I don't want to get too graphic here, but it was just, it got to the point where, man, I was about to preach in a few minutes, and I was just, oh, I was just bending down, just holding my stomach, because it was, I had a bad stomach ache. I prayed to God, asking God that I won't be like this during the sermon, won't have the stomach ache. Praise God that I was able to preach, and the, the, the pain in the stomach was gone. When I was done preaching, the pain came back. <laughs> but at least when I was preaching, it was it was gone, which was good. You know, uh, that's the stuff that we as humans go through. And I think it's pretty amazing how Jesus, like in today's chapter, we started the book of John, John chapter 1. Jesus became flesh. Jesus took a human body, a body that could get sick. A body that can feel pain, a body can that can get tired. He took on a body, a human body, a human form. Why? Because he wanted to live with us and he wanted to reach us. And that's pretty awesome that he humbled himself to be a human. Because he loves us.